allowed things to happen for a purpose and for a reason. And the reason why he allowed things to happen for a reason is because for his purpose, right? Now, I want to take you to the shit rope. Sick rep of Apostle Paul. Remember, he got locked up, and then you know, um, and he went through many of trials, and you know, he, people were he was going back and forth, and so you know, he he wanted to he wanted to uh, go uh, to Rome, right? So he was uh, pretty much traveling to Rome, right? He wanted to have his case heard, you know, and everybody that he pretty much told him about how he used to be, and he gave his um, uh, life over to the Lord and everything. They laughed and they thought he was crazy and all this stuff and so forth. You know, Paul been through some stuff, you know. And although we know what he has done, but he's been through some stuff, you know, especially, um, you know, um, being tr um, transported, you know, just like a person going to prison, they going from this prison, this prison, this prison, and each prison, they got to go through something, and it's just always something that's like, hey, you know, so it's basically something like that. But see, this is what's something that intrigued me, right? And we ask ourselves, why do we, God put us through these certain um, situations, especially as Christians, you know, we go through that, we go through the motions and everything, you know, and why we have to go through this, but everybody else um, that is unbelievers and everybody that is robbing the church and everybody that is false, it seems like they're being blessed, they getting all these things, they doing this and that, but you know, why I got to go through the hardship, why family hurting me so much, why I got to feel this so much, I'm doing everything that I have to do, it's because it's for a purpose, right? But see, here's the thing, see, you're the, 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 the situations what you may be in, it will lead you to something that you may not even understand, but for the greater of your good, right? For his purpose, right? Because see, everything we do is being notated, right? So therefore, if you're telling somebody about the word of God, even though they don't listen, listen they laugh at you and then, you know, and they shine you off or whatever, right? But you left something with them, right? And you left in their minds that, hey, you know, God is there. So therefore, it's up to them rather to receive it or not. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you to this really important message here, right? We're going to go to 27 and we're going to go to um, um, 9. We're going to jump here. Paul warned them, man, I can see that our voyage is going to be disastrous and bring great loss to the ship and cargo and to our own lives also. But the Censorian, watch this, instead of listening to what Paul said, Follow the advice of the pilot and the owners of the ship. And then by not listening to Paul, we already know what happened, right? Then Paul was giving them vision upon, look, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to end up on the island and so forth. Then they finally believed. See, we have to be able to go through some things in life. Hallelujah. We have to be able to go through some things in life that may be a, 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 a situation where now they may not believe, but then now, you know, they start to see. And so they started to see and they started to believe, right? But it took Apostle Paul to go through all that just so them, uh, many of them to believe. See, we may have to go through all this stuff, right? Just to get to a certain person. See, we may not see on here. You want to try to reach everybody on, on, on YouTube, right? But you may, I don't care how many subscribers you got. You can have 600, you can have 4,000, you can have 52,000, you can have 600,000, have a million, right? You may not reach anybody, right? You may be putting out videos, but see, as soon as you go to that grocery store, it's that one person, right, that you reach, right? Because it doesn't, matter, it doesn't really matter how many subscribers you got, right? Everybody can say, ah, oh, yeah, how do we, yeah, I want like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff to you and all that, but are they really uh, uh, being delivered? Are they really uh, giving their stuff to the Lord? You know, they just on here getting a little word, and then they squirreling off and going to TikTok, having fun, smoking a blunt, drinking, and going to fornicating, doing whatever, right? Just because you speaking a word doesn't mean that it's touching them. So what may touch them is uh, 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 that somebody else may come along in the video may touch them. But see, not everybody is for everybody. See, you see, you may be putting out these videos, right? But see, these videos is basically sometimes it's helping you because when you go out, watch this, and you run into that one person, you start ministering to that one person, that one person just got saved rather than the millions of us uh, uh, subscribers that you have, right? Even though all the work that you put in, right? But none of that has mattered, right? What has mattered, what God was taking you see what matter was what uh, uh, Apostle Paul, what well, God was taking him in the direction, right, to get to Rome, right, so therefore people can see the glory of God through him although they didn't believe, but he had to go through some things, so therefore hallelujah, he can get somewhere where he was heading, but God protected him throughout the uh, time of when he was going through these uh, uh, trials and tribulations and these things that he was going within himself, right, and the things he had to go through and the things he endured and suffered although he was doing the works of the Lord, right? But he still had to go through these things. Even when uh, 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 friends 
just turned on him. Even with those that he was ministering to say, hey, no, we're going to go this way. He, you know, he went through some things, right? Although he did some things, right? But he gave his life. We all did that, right? We all been through some things and gave our life to the Lord. And then all of a sudden, you know, we started um, going through these situations like, Lord, I'm doing everything. I'm on fire for you. Why well, I got to go through this, right? You have to go through this because it's for a purpose and for a reason. It's a cause and effect behind everything that is being done because see where you at. It is not where you at at the moment, but it is where he is taking you. You may think you're doing a great service here, but that's not where your true works is lie. Your true works is out there or somewhere else other than what you feel it may be. And that's why a lot of you get stuck, right? Because you get stuck in your own works because you feel like you're supposed to be here, but the Lord is actually shifting you somewhere else. That's what the Lord did to Apostle Paul. He shifted him somewhere else, right? So he can reach others. And that was the point of it because sometimes we want to listen. Here's the point of all this, right? See, sometimes we don't want to listen to what somebody is telling. We'd rather listen to somebody uh, uh, else that's out there. It's just like your family. Your family won't listen to you, but they listen to outsiders, right? They're just like in your congregation, you go to church, you don't listen to your pastor, but then you go visit another church, you listen to them. That's just like, you know, uh, 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 everybody want to listen to this certain page, right? But don't nobody want to listen to this other page, right? And don't nobody want to take heed to what this person is telling, but they want to take until they realize that, wait a minute, this person was wrong and this person was telling me right until they finally understand. But see, why is it that we can't hold ourselves accountability from the things that we do instead of saying, you know what, I'm going I'm to take heed to what this person is saying, I'm going to take heed to this person saying, then I'm going to come to my own conclusion upon what's going on. I'm just not going to say what this person is taking and this person, that's just like when you get direction. This person say, go here, go here, make a left, go here. Same person may say, you may go here or whatever. And then, you know, you may end up listening to that one person that sent you way out the way rather than the other person, right? But sometimes, right, if you got to follow, hallelujah, sometimes you can't follow follow what the crowd is telling you to do. Sometimes you just got to follow what the Lord is telling you to do. See, the thing is that it wasn't that you needed directions. Watch this, hallelujah. It was that you needed the source and the source, hallelujah, was in your mindset. So therefore you, so, so here's the thing. Instead of listening to what that person was saying, now you can tell yourself, you know what? This is what the Lord is telling me. Okay. So if I continue to go straight, you know, and I'm looking for the street. The street may be down here. I've never been down here before. So let me just stop stopping here at this one light, this two light, three lights. Let me go down by four or five more lights and I may find what I'm looking for because the, the person who I asked, they told me at the third light, make a left. And now I ended up uh, 20 miles out because they because you, you're taking notes. Uh, from somebody else who may have different objections upon hallelujah the route that you are taking and that's the problem here so a lot of you are shipwrecked in your faith right because see you don't know where the lord is taking you feel that your drop off point is here some of you give up because you feel like i'm doing all this and there's no more for me to do no you got to continue to stay in, in tune to what the lord is giving you stay in faith and continue to stay on that boat and continue to keep uh, uh staying true to what you believe and letting the people know you know because i I am not guilty, you know. Don't try to persecute me. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I come to do, and I'm not going to change that for anybody. But a lot of you change it for you too, and that's why a lot of you dumbing down the word of God because y'all y'all got so scared, y'all got so stuck, and y'all rely on social media when you don't rely on uh, anything that's outside and doors because you are scared because this is more comfortable, you know. Because you feel that you are doing something, you're not doing nothing but put it on the show. This is nothing but a TV. YouTube ain't nothing but a TV, a streaming service like everybody else, like Netflix and Tubi and, 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 and Hulu and everything else. Until you really start to understand what things is, then you really start to understand what purpose that is for you at hand. But so, sometimes the purpose is not for you to sit at this camera all day long. The purpose is you to go out there. And the reason why you stuck, because you haven't went out there, because you are stagnated, procrastinated yourself into where you at, because you shipwrecked and you stayed there, and you didn't go to the islands, and you didn't spread the works because therefore when you sit when the Lord sends you somewhere he has somebody to greet you the reason why you're not greeted because you're not moving God bless you